Yo, what is going on, Sexy Cylinder Squad? So I obviously missed the launch of Baki Kujira. Baki Kujira. I had to I had to see what his name was. He had to say it for me. Vermilion C Ascended and Standard. Honestly, Ascended has a cool color scheme. Um, so this is a complete an utter first look like i've not seen anything about this god i've not seen i didn't even know he looked like this to be honest i didn't know his name i know nothing about him so normally my first looks i'll like do a uh like a deep dive into the character on my own time come to you guys with the video a first look video basically saying this is how i think you play this god i actually have no idea I know one thing, and that's he's a guardian, and he's meant to be in solo lane. Uh, I don't know what that entails. I'm going to start Bancrofts. And bow because he has mana. Um, And level all my abilities up once. All right. Enemies that hard crowd control Bakia Kajura are cursed. <clears throat> oh, cool. If an enemy is already cursed, the duration is refreshed and increases in strength. Bake, I'm gonna call him. Call him I'm gonna just gonna call him Bukaki. Uh, converts protections from items and abilities into basic attack damage and converts attack speed into haste. Attack speed and item passives do not benefit his basic attacks. What is haste? Oh, is he AOE? Are his, are his auto attacks base AOE? One percent haste per one percent attack speed from items and abilities. Protection conversion thirty percent. He imbues himself with cursed... Wait. Oh. I have no idea what's happening. Okay. I, I, gotta, I gotta pause and read. I gotta pause and read. I'm sorry. I actually don't understand. Alright. Bake Kujira imbues himself with cursed energy. When activated base... Bake... Gains increased basic attack range, reduced movement penalty when basic attacking, and he gains a stack of protections for each enemy's hit with basic attacks. Maximum stack six protections per stack two, so twelve basic or twelve protections. Fifty percent reduced basic attack penalty and increased by twenty percent range or twenty units of range. That's a big buff. Like, am I? I'm an auto attack guardian. Am I a mage? Am I a mage or guardian? And why the fuck am I auto attack based? What is happening? Okay. I had to ask Jade to be sorry. Uh, Bukaki sends out a wave of cursed energy. I'm a, I'm a solo guardian. Okay. Bukaki sends out a wave of cursed energy. Enemies hit are slowed, damaged, and cursed. Enemies that are cursed deal reduced damage by 6%, but it amplifies it. If a cursed enemy is hit by this ability, the slow is doubled and their curse becomes amplified. Bukaki's basic attacks reduce this ability's cooldown by one second when hitting an enemy god and 0.1 when hitting a minion. So this is my spam ability. Uh, your water puddle is your auto attack range. Auto damage scales with prots. And you get haste from attack speed. What is haste? Oh. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. So his two is like a buff, but it curses them. Um, if he hits me with a CC, they get cursed. So this curses them and a hard CC hit on me curses them. Okay. My three, I gather power, then dash straight ahead, damaging enemies around him. Enemies hit by the dash take additional damage and are stunned and pushed to Bukaki's ending location. Bukaki is immune to knockback while this ability, while using this ability. So I dash into them and I take them with me. And then stun them. 
when we land together holy shit that stun scales from 0.5 to 1.5 that's actually nuts and then my ultimate oh, wow that's a book bukaki begins to sing for the next five seconds gaining bonus bonus attack bonus basic attack damage increasing his basic attack range to 20 and distorting a large area around him with sound waves enemies between 20 and 50 units away gain stacks of time dilation causing their actions to happen more slowly so it's like a oleron alt leaving the time dilation area will cause the stacks of time dilation to decay over time enemies within 20 units are not time dilated but in instead take increased damage by 20 percent scaling up to 60 percent nearby enemy damage increase wait they take more damage oh my basic attack damage is increased and they take more damage oh okay I think I get it. So basically my goal is spam the two because it goes on cooldown really fast. Use my three to stun them to set up my alt to beat their ass. Oh, I can't move that. And I'm assuming I'm supposed to spam my two like a maniac. Okay. I'm 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 booling. I'm feeling it out. This is not bad. How far is this dash? Not terrible. All right. Hello gangster. Bro, he actually can't get away from me. When I alt, it's over for him. When I alt, I just do so much damage. So, okay. I'm an auto attack guardian. That's a solo laner. That's AOE auto attacks, but based off of protections. And my stun sucks. Did I get all that? Okay. My attack speed is really fast, by the way. Why is my auto... My auto attack damage is scaling up. Is it supposed to? I don't understand why it's scaling. I I stay in the fight because my two gets reduced cooldowns. Yeah, my two gets reduced cooldown when I'm like in the shit. Whenever I'm auto attacking either a human or a minion, I curse them. The curse lasts for six seconds the curse lasts for six seconds but the cooldown is lower than six seconds normally and because of that i can amplify my own curse by myself without actually needing to be cc'd for another six seconds because it refreshes the duration and increases in strength because of my passive and then attack speed, if I build attack speed, doesn't actually give me attack speed. Attack speed doesn't actually build me attack speed. It gives me haste, which is like less auto attack reduction so that I can W key the shit out of people with my auto attacks. Am I understanding this correctly? He seems like a very just hold W kind of god. 
he seems he seems like pretty easy to understand generally speaking and my one makes me tankier too so i should be using that more so i'm kind of bad at using that stun two oh what is that what is that icon on his head oh that's the curse right slow no not slow does my two slow it does my two slows by 15 percent I really should max my three because it looks like the damage on the three is actually insane. Because it does... My three... In the stun increases by a lot. It does splash damage and then dash damage if I hit them. Um... Protections give me increased damage. And attack speed, building attack speed gives me haste. So there's no way for me to get actual more attacks. I think. Dicks. Okay. I'm okay with this, I think. Yeah, all right. Not bad. This is not bad. And my one just makes me uber tanky. And my three just does insane damage. All right. I mean, okay. So I understand how this god has become this god. Now I need to understand exactly what the combo is. I need to understand exactly what the combo is in order to make him good. Because I understand basically what you do is you use your one and your two and you spam your two as much as you can. Use your one to like... Make your auto attacks go pew pew damage, ouch. And you spam your two as much as you can to curse them. To make them go pew pew, ouch. And if I build attack speed, it makes me faster when I auto attack. So this doesn't actually give me attack speed. So it's not worth getting. Instead, what I should be doing is either building power or defense. And basically only power or defense, right? Even though all of my abilities are based on me auto attacking in a circle around me. My only goal is to build power and defense. All right. Boy, I'm probably like anti-healing shit, but... They made his auto attack range big enough with his one active to like actually chunk the shit out of him. My three is rank four now, so it's going to do some big damage, I think. It does actually do pretty big damage. All right. Fine by me. No. He lived through my two, dude. My two hit him five times for 728 damage. My three hit him for 300, but it hit him three times instead of four. Um. So then my question becomes now... Um, does my three, if I put it on normal cast. Oh, so it does have a little like burst of damage first and then it goes. 
that's what the damage is associated with okay so you want to be close to them to get the full the splash damage and the dash damage i thought that the the splash damage was them being stunned afterward i was incorrect All right. All right. You know what I will say, though? I think when I alt, I actually feel like I attack slower. Do I? Because it really does feel like that. I gain both basic attack damage and range. And then I slow them. So I don't attack slower. It just feels like that. I think Staff of Mirrodin is probably pretty decent. Because your ult... I, well, actually, your ult might be channeled. I haven't checked the cooldown of it. That's mine, by the way. I will say it's nice he can't run from me with my one active. I am pretty fast. And I have no basic attack penalty. Hmm. Um, I wish I knew. I wish there was like a stack that would tell me exactly how far like exactly how much of this i have like my attack speed conversion so that i could i could know if i'm like absolutely vibing also worth noting horrific did not slow my attack speed just now Okay. Dual orb does not work on Bukaki. I suppose dual dual orb doesn't work. My mistake. Um King Arthur moment. I guess Bancroft's claw is better than Bancroft's talon cuz I don't really need more haste. And then I guess I should technically be going. I should technically be going double defense here instead of. Instead of like more damage. Because. Defense gives me power or gives me basic attack damage. Kind of like at the same rate. That. uh That building power gives me basic attack damage. Now, what I don't understand is when I use my one, my damage scales every time I hit something, but it doesn't say that it does. It doesn't say it's supposed to scale, which I'm not understanding. Oh, you know why? Okay, I get it. Because protections give me basic attack damage. And my one gives me protections every time I hit something. Scaling up to a total of 10 stacks. So my damage is going to get more and more. 10 times in a row, basically. I understand. All right, I understand. So 
so my one maximum stack 10 six protections per stack gives me it's six protections per uh per protection type so it's not it's not six this is not 60 physical protection this is 120 protection 60 physical 60 magical and apparently it works on phoenix stacking my passive this is really good because he can't actually body block me from taking his phoenix oh, i have killed myself I, I fully believe i have killed myself okay so let's go mid guardian and honestly like i have 30 percent pen and, and double life steal which is good but life steal is definitely helping me when we're not fighting but i kind of want a rod i have 330 power but also if protection is the only thing i care about and I only have, oh, I guess I have 30% cooldown built. What if I just go glad shield? That'll max out my cooldown because I have 30% built. It'll give me more damage out of my protection. And it'll make my two do more damage because of the, the proc from glad shield. Correct? doing about 200 damage per auto attack my attack speed is stagnant at 1.25 all the way from level one by the way this jump is cool all the way from level one do i have a special oh what's my wavy mode <laughs> what's my clap that's funny all right so I have 282 physical protection, 127 magical protection. And they both get reduced by 60 when my one goes away. So let's go glad shield. My, my two and my three both actually do damage as abilities. So they should, they should proc glad shield. My one will not. Okay, actually insane damage. I was doing almost 300 damage per auto attack. I, I auto attacked him six times for 1100 damage while being triple defense. I also have 3200 health. Am I dumb or is this god kind of busted? Like, don't get me wrong. He's one of the most simple gods I've ever seen. You literally press buttons at enemy while holding left click. There's there's no nuance behind it. You're not going to... There's no skill cap to this god. He's, he's extremely basic. I've already mastered him. You press buttons and W. Um... That being said, how like how do you beat him? I don't really get it. Like I've decided I want to hurt you and now you die. That's it. Look at that damage. He pressed all of his buttons and I did nothing. I actually didn't press buttons. That is kind of insane. Do I win off that? His damage is kind of bad on like targets but it's kind of good on enemies like gods gg thank you
it's like 2 a.m for j2b so could we just get like a round of applause in the comments for him actually playing with me i appreciate that a lot um so this is like i saw on twitter that Mr. Bukaki here was as simple as Bakasura. And I thought they were exaggerating. In my mind, when I think of Bakasura, I think of press one button, WK left click. He is the same. Only now, he, only he's a guardian. Like he's tanky while he does it. And he's incentivized with damage to get tankier. Kind of at the same situation where Vamana is incentivized. Except the Vamana doesn't have a built-in Hasten Katana which has to waste an item slot away from the stats you actually want, which in my opinion are lifesteal and defense. The staff of the Mirrodin did help, I will say, because your ultimate goes on cooldown the second you proc it. And then that um, you have you have the ultimate triggered while your staff of Mirrodin is ticking, while you already have the basic attack damage. So what you do, you do use your one, which increases your basic attack damage and range, and you use your ultimate, which all, which further increases your basic attack um, range and damage. And with Staff of Mirrodin, you get that 20% increased dealt, uh, damage dealt. So you're getting like a 60% damage increase. Probably, it's, more, it's probably more like 45% damage increase and like tripled auto attack range while you ult. With Staff of Mirrodin. If you use your one and your ult at the same time. But he's he's basically simple. Like you you just press buttons, and and you you W key at them, which is insane because like I like mom and Brigitte just came out, and she is like infinite. She has so many different situations in her kit that you could actually master and have a skill ceiling extremely high, and this has a skill ceiling of like the ground level. Like, if you walk into the building, you've reached the level of Bukaki, which I guess makes him a good solo laner and a good guardian because he can stun and displace and time dilate like Oleron ult as a guardian to defend your homies if you are technically a support. You should be solo with Bukaki, but, you know, whatever. It's either one. Um, it's pretty insane to me that 30% conversion rate between power and basic attack damage. Meaning if I buy an item that has 60 defense, I get 20 basic attack damage off of that item, give or take, you know, 18, 19 damage. Which means if I go six defense items, and it also it scales off both physical and magical. If you So you have 325 as a max protection cap, but because you gain 60 from your one, the cap of protections that you actually want to build while playing Bukaki is 265. So if you build 265 of each protection, your one will cap out the rest of that 60 up to 325, which is the actual cap of defense, giving you 650 protection and 30% of 650 is 200 and like 12. Wow. So if you just straight up max, if you just straight up max defense, you can do like 300 plus damage per auto attack. And you always, even with horrific, they literally cannot slow your auto attack more than 1.25. Because his horrific didn't slow my attack speed. Does it say in his, in his passive that he can't get his attack speed slow? Or is that a bug? Attack speed and item passives do not benefit his basic attacks. So no Telekines, no Demonic, no Hastened Ring, um, no Polynomicon as a Guardian is kind of shitty. It doesn't say that I'm supposed to never get my attack speed slow. Yeah, none of these abilities say that. Huh. 
Huh. This is just crazy. 1% haste per 1% attack speed from items. Your one gives you 50% movement speed and penalty. So if you build 50% attack speed, if you have 50% attack speed, um, then you have a hastened, you have a hastened ring permanently with your one. Cause this reduces movement penalty by 50%. And this is 1% per 1% attack speed. So if I built demonic grip, which is 30% attack speed, that's basically all the hastened I would need, all the haste I would need. In order to move faster. So because I had no attack speed in my build, I actually only had movement penalty reduction by 50%. Which is why I felt so bad when I ulted. Okay, I'm understanding. I'm understanding that you do actually need to build a little tiny bit of attack speed to get the most out of your, your one alt combo. Just a little bit. Like, like throw in a berserker shield. That's all you need. That'll give you protections. It'll give you attack speed that will give you haste. So it'll give you, it'll give you protections, basic attack damage and basic attack haste all in one item. So that item is absolutely busted broken on him. And when you get lower, you get an additional 20% attack speed, which means you, you're even with this item by itself. When you get 60% HP, you basically have haste and katana. It's, I mean. Technically, it's 95%, not 100%, but still. So this is an insane item on him. All right. He's pretty cool. I like him. I feel like he can be solved, though. You know what I mean? Like, like you could, you could theorize a build that gets you to 265 protections... And maxes out your haste. So with your one active, you have max um, haste and ring on. And, and that's it. That's all you need. 265 of each protection and maximum haste. And that's that's literally all you need on him. Staff of Mirrodin is nice because it gives you more damage. But you don't need it because you get damage from your protections. So I feel like he, he's fun, but he is solved to the point where you could go in God Builder, fuck around for an hour and come back and be like, hey, figured him out. This is the perfect build for him. This gives you maximum haste and 265 protections. You're welcome, Sam. Go Bukaki people. I mean, he's kind of fun though. I have fun walking around as a whale. I do that in real life. So in the game too, it's like it's second nature to me almost, which is pretty insane. And people are punished for hitting him with hard CC, which does feel good, but the punishment is not that much. They were, they do, they do less damage by, well, actually 20% is a fuck ton. Their slow is doubled and their curse becomes amplified. So it's a 30% slow with 20% damage reduction on them for six seconds. This scales with magic power. Not very well. This scales with magic power. Not very well. Your alt and your one don't scale. <clears throat> he seems fun. I will take you, Yokai. Yokai of despair. Mr. Bukaki. I will take you and I will show you the ends of the earth. You and me will be best buddies. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this first look video. It's pretty fun. It's pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think of him. Um, 
Let me know if I've completely misunderstood him. I think I got him right on the fucking nail, though, to be honest. Like, I hit the hit the nail on the head because he does seem very simple to me. Um, let me know if you guys have already figured out the best build. 265 protections each with 50% attack speed built in. No more, no less. If you have figured that out, uh, write in the comment section what it is. Somebody like, if, you know, don't, don't all do the math, but one person do the math. He'll post the comment. Everyone else go and up, upvote his comment so we can all like, you know, circle jerk each other about how smart we are. And then uh, I'll, I'll go into casuals for like 10 hours one day and just spam that build and see if it's OP. Or if this god sucks. He seems pretty good just because he's full AoE. Like his whole kit is is I I I belly flop the ground and do damage if you're in my vicinity. So like his whole kit is W key belly flop, which I, I'm all about. He's like he's like Bacchus, but like no cooldown on the belly flop and less drunk, probably. And also probably a bigger dick, because he's a whale. And they have like ten 10 foot dicks difficulty says average which is absolutely a lie because it is it is easier than bastet whose difficulty is easy apparently i don't know thanks for watching i appreciate you guys uh thanks for not immediately roasting me for this upload because i know that i had to learn the god like straight up in 30 minutes um, but I think I did a pretty damn good job. And I also think that it, he'll be a lot of fun to slam casuals with. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, until next time, guys, peace.